As we mentioned, you can hear it as well. You're right next to mm -hmm. me. The rain is just pounding down on the roof of our newsroom as we speak. Yeah, and this is one of those rain bands we've been talking about. We tracked this across St. Augustine, then it moved out there towards uh, uh, northern areas of St. John, southern Duval. We watched this move through Mandarin, and now it is moving over uh, downtown to Jacksonville with these gusty conditions. It's going to last just a few more minutes, so to get on by, we're going to break, and then we're watching that main line now impacting the Daytona Beach area. But right now, there's a look at that cone of air, you know, yeah, I keep on showing that, but it's all about just the overall wind field. Like I said, we already got those rain bands already moving through the first coast or seeing those move off towards north. We got gusty conditions already back towards southeastern areas of Georgia, so this is a large wind field on it. So I know the cone is going to move off towards the big bend area, but it doesn't really make a difference for us guys. Look at Daytona Beach, 62 mile per hour winds there. Uh, St. Augustine at 38, Mayport's at 47. You can see outside right now. We got those windy conditions. Amelia, I hear dinging over there. Can you check and let me know what's what, what that is uh, right now? Yeah, we're just keeping an eye on this because this particular line uh, we are seeing move on through. I want to make sure we don't have any uh, warnings that are popping up, at least at this time. I know we have been getting some pretty decent wind gusts. In fact, out towards Marine Land, we just had a report come in upwards about 57 miles per hour. Do have a band moving through uh, Daytona, though, and then here's the one over downtown Jacksonville we're talking about. That's that outside the window right now. Here it is, a pretty decent little cell kicking on through. And within that, wouldn't it be surprised we do have those winds gusting up and over 40 miles per hour as it moves off there towards the north and west. All right, if you're out here in maybe Lake City, uh, Yulee, you're thinking, where is it? Well, it's coming, guys. Going to be moving to your area in the next 30 to uh, 40 minutes as this moves on through back there towards the northwest. So downtown Jacksonville is getting right now. Then we're going to get a little bit of a break, and then we have those rain bands moving in from the southwest. Actually, uh, yeah, just got another report out of Marineland at 56 miles per hour. That's what, uh, thank you very much, Amelia, just uh, showing me that uh, latest information. Remember that to right there south of St. Augustine, so right in there, and that's the main band that's setting up over Daytona just on the northern edge of that. Just got a wind report out there of tropical storm strength. Now all this rain, of course, is coming on shore and it's still got some pretty decent totals in the forecast for a rainfall. Two to four inches widespread continuing to remain in place. Could even see some heavier totals back there towards the north as the storm system tracks off into southeastern Georgia over towards the Carolinas. But hour by hour, here's seven o'clock. That main band is going to really continue to move into our area here. Uh, this is by nine o'clock. This is unfortunately kind of bad timing. Despite the fact the storms towards our south, those winds are still wrapping around coming in off of the Atlantic. And if this takes place in this particular setup, this guidance, this is a high resolution in-house model that we use and it's handling the storm pretty good right now. Um, this will be pushing right over St. Augustine right at high tide. Tides already above average. Yesterday we saw the water spill over and flood uh, the uh, main street right in there in St. Augustine. So, unfortunately, this morning we're probably going to be seeing some more flooding yet again. So, that's another big topic we're going to see over the next a few hours out there. Katie? We do want to check back in with Lewis Turner. He's anchoring our coverage live in the St. Augustine.